what are we doing here today? What, what's happening? This is a, this is an action day. Yeah. Um, the idea with the action days is that we're able to start off a festival in a good way. I've been performing at festivals for about, I think, six or seven years now, and at a certain point, I um, I started just looking out into the crowd and being like, "Holy crap! There's like 5,000 people out there, you know." And and it's awesome. The celebration is beautiful, but but this question of um, is there something more? We routed a 35 city tour around the country, and um, with that tour. We did an action day after every single show. I feel, for me, I'm doing this because I uh, want to help build gardens everywhere. I think the reason that we do this is to not only come out together and have fun and create amazing pathways and structures together, but also to empower everyone who shows up. It's, it's like you said, there's a hunger for this because people have been celebrating for so long. You know, you, you look at festival, the, the origins of festivals, and festivals happened, like, the first time there was ever a festival, it was because a community came together and it was the harvest, right? They harvested the, the corn or their vegetable stocks, or vegetable and their produce, and then all of a sudden, they, they were like, hey, let's celebrate. Let's have a party to celebrate all this work that we just did together, and, and we've forgotten that. You know, there's this big forgetting that that's where festivals came from. And I think that a lot of these people are feeling that because maybe maybe there's something deep inside us that, that wants community and wants co-creation before we actually celebrate. I've been to Arise every single year and last year I um, was sort of jealous of the people that got to partake in the full week permaculture workshop. So I was like, I'm gonna make it this year. So. I'm here, and it's been a blast so far. These are the dowels that have uh, mushrooms actually in them because they've been kind of fermenting them with them for a while. And then we just put these, drill them in pretty fresh wood, not too fresh, but a little bit aged so that it really helps decompose and turn into blue oysters is the cultivar, which is the easiest of the mushrooms to cultivate. So maybe you can... Yeah. Tell us what is going on over here. Yes. All right. So we have drilled a bunch of um, half-inch holes into cottonwood logs. They're pretty fresh. And now we are going to put some little wood dowels that have been inoculated with blue oysters. So the blue oysters. Um, they grow up very delicious. Uh, mushrooms. Very. Buttering is good with about anything. I brought a flat of calendula and other perennial uh, wildflower seeds. So we're going to be planting out this whole berm with perennial flowers. And we're going to be doing some check dams in this little swale to further slow and sink that water into the ground. Awesome. Yeah. Exciting. My name is Bethy Lovelight. I am a conscious hip hop musician. I sing for truth, beauty, goodness, sustainability, and equality. And it's really all about being really aware of the words that we are choosing in our songs and the words that we're listening to and the music that we're choosing to listen to because these words are so powerful. They are the seeds of creation for what it is that we want to create in this world. So if we really want to create a peaceful, sustainable, equal world, then the language and the, and the lyrics that we use in our songs need to reflect that kind of dream-making capability. I compose uh, electronic, electronic dance music mm -hmm. and I tend to work with, with vocalists that have a message. Um, mm -hmm. Because I'm not actually a vocalist, I'm, I'm more the, the record producer. Uh, I, I don't necessarily speak to those things because I'm not speaking in my music, but the idea um, of bringing in, you know, vocalists like Ayla or Mr. Liff or, you know, talking about working with Rising Appalachia, like artists that have have a concrete message that can interweave with the music I make is 
is is paramount right now in my in my recording process. A call to action, a call to action. I am walking north, I am walking south. A call to action, a call to action. Day. <laughs>